مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم Welcome again to our gateway to Arabic series. We're still in book five. Uh, today's lesson is on page 14. And it's about verbs with ya yeah as their first root letter. Assimilated verb. And it's called in Arabic Al-Fi'lu Al-Mu'tal Al-Mithal al yai Okay. The good news is uh, they are conjugated the same way as your regular verbs so let's choose one regular verb for you and then we put it side by side with the verb starting with ya let's use the verb yaqina yaqina means uh, it was certain or he was certain he was sure yaqina now equivalent of that in the normal verb will be shariba yashrabu that's a verb to drink so let's start with the uh, shariba and then we compare and contrast with the yakina. All right, let's start with the third person uh, in both uh, male and female, singular, dual, and plural. Let's go. Past tense. Uh, shariba, he drank. Yakina, he was certain. So, shariba, yakina. Sheribat, she drank. Yaqinat, she was sure. Okay, what about they, meaning two uh, men drank. Shariba, we introduce an alif, which is called alif of ithnain, and that is a duo alif, uh, to show that there are two people we are talking about. Shariba Yaqina They were certain They were sure Okay, that's male Female Two Shariba Ta The same alif there at the end Shariba Ta They, meaning two women, drank Yaqina Ta They were certain to female yaqina ta okay what about they meaning three or more masculine drank sharibu the u ending the sharibu the third letter is carrying u dhamma extended using the wawul jama'a the plural wow sharibu yaqinu the same ending Sharibu Yaqinu They were certain For the female uh, uh, The feminine plural In the past tense They They drank Meaning three or more women We say Sharib Sukun on the bar Which is the third root Sharib And then you add Nununiswa Sharib Na Sharib Na Short Na Sharib na. Do the same thing to the yakina becomes yakin na. Now note because the the third root letter in the verb yakina is actually known. Now adding the other known means we need to combine them. We put shadda on the known to indicate we are looking at two knowns here. Yakin na. Sharib na. Yakin na. Good. So that's the third person down, Shariba, Yaqina. Sharibat, Yaqinat. Shariba, Yaqina. Sharibata, Yaqinata. Sharibu, Yaqinu. Sharibna, Yaqinna. Okay, let's now move to the second person, meaning you are speaking directly to them and uh, uh, the same thing male female singular dual and plural and then we compare and contrast between the two verbs right you now the rule is when you are speaking to people in front of you telling them they did something in the past uh, the third root letter will have to carry sukun across the board all you need to learn to add to it will be 
for single male, you say ta. Single female, you say ti. And uh, for dual, two uh, men or two women, it's the same. Tuma. Tuma ending. And then for three or more uh, masculine, you add tum. And three or more feminine, you add tuna. So basically, the, the, the masculine section is a ta tuma tum ending, like a tomato. And the female section is ti tuma tunas, like a tuna. So just remember the ta tuma tum, ti tuma tuna, ta tuma tum for men, ti tuma tuna for female section. Then whatever verb you are conjugating, just put sukun on the third root letter and then add those. Let's try it. So shariba, you put sukun on the bar, sharib, and then ta. That's me, you, singular male drunk. Sharib ti. That's mean you singular female drunk. In the yakina verb becomes yakin sukun on the noun and then ta. Yakin then ti. So sharib ta yakin ta sharib ti yakin ti. Okay. You were certain. Now two of you in front of you you say sharib tuma tuma ending after the sukun. Sharib tuma sharib. Tuma, yakin tuma, yakin tuma, ending. Okay, if you are speaking to a group of men, three or more, you will say, again, sukun, after sukun, you add tum. Sharib, tum, yakin, tum. If you are speaking to three or more female, you will say, uh, you add tunna after the sukun. Sharib, tunna, yakin, tunna. Yeah, we are. So the second person is Sharip ta yakin ta sharip ti yakin ti sharip tuma yakin tuma sharip tuma yakin tuma sharip tum yakin tum sharip tunna yakin tunna. Yeah, we go. Okay, now this the first person, I mean the speaker. The speaker, no gender. So male and female say the same thing. So when you want to say, I did whatever. Put sukun on the last, on the on the third root, and then add two. So sharib two, yakin two, male female the same. Sharib two, yakin two. Okay. What about we? We two of us or millions of us is the same. Again sukun on the third root letter and then put na as long known, known fatha and then lengthen alif. So sharib na. Yakin, na, it's the same for group of men and group of women as well. Here we are, the past tense conjugation has been demonstrated for you to say, look, it is the same as your normal verb conjugation. Okay, let's now move to the present tense. The present tense, uh, we're going to use the shariba. Shariba is starting in present tense, yeshrabu. You say fatha on your second root letter. Shariba yesh ra bo. The same yakina yei ka no. So same pattern. So let's do the uh, third person male, female, singular, dual, and plural first. So he, he, he does whatever it is. So he drinks. So we say yesh ra bo. Equivalent, uh, he certain will be yei kano. So yeshrabu yei kano. What about she? She will become teshrabu. She drinks and uh, tei kano. So yeshrabu yei kano. Teshrabu tei kano. Okay. Uh, they even two men uh, drink or drinking become yeshra. Ba ni any ending. Yesh ra ba ni. For female, two women uh, drink or drinking uh tesh ra ba ni. In the yakina verb, the female uh, the male, two of them they say yei ka na ni. So yesh ra ba ni yei ka na ni. Tesh ra ba ni for female, tesh ra ba ni. Te konani. Same ending. 
What about they, meaning three men or more? You see, una ending. Yesh rabuna, yei kanuna. Or the yei kan, uh, yakina verb. Yesh rabuna, yei kanuna. For the female, you say, yesh rab, sukun on the ba, and then na. Yesh rab na. Yei kan na. Again, you combine your noon. Yei kan na. Yesh rab na. Yei kan na. Now, note, when you are doing your present tense in the third person, the section, the uh, masculine section starts with ya, ya, ya. Yeshrabu, yei kanu. Yeshrabani, yei kanani. Yeshrabuna, yei kanuna. Whereas the female starts with ta, ta, and then ya. Ta, ta, ya. So, teshrabu, uh, tei kanu. Teshrabani, tei kanani. And then ya. Yeshrabna, yei kanna. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Now, present tense, now we're going to do the second person. People in front of you addressing you, speaking to them. Now, virtually it's the same as your uh, third person. But note, the beginning in the third person is for male, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. And for female, it's ta, ta, yeah. But here, the second person, everything starts with ta. So ta, 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 across the board. And then the ending virtually the same. Let's have a look. So you, single male, drink or drinking, ta, you start with ta, teshrabu. In the verb, yakina, teikanu. So teshrabu, teikanu. If you are speaking to female, one singular uh, female, woman, uh, ina ending, remember? You need ina, and so teshrabina, teikanina. That's you watch out for that one. So, teshrabina, teikanina. Okay, after that, all the endings similar to the previous one. So, when you are speaking to two men, you will say, teshrabani, any ending. Teshrabani. Okay. And, teikanani. Teshrabani, teikanani. Speaking to two women, it's the same. You say, te teshrabani, te konani. Identical. What about if you're speaking to group of men, uh, meaning three or more, you say, teshrabuna, una ending, always. Teshrabuna, start with ta, teshrabuna, te konuna. Teshrabuna, te konuna. Or female, you say, tesh Rabna, sukun on the bar, and the third root, tesh rabna tei konna, combine the noun, tesh rabna tei konna. Here we are, that's your uh, second person uh, present tense done. What about first person? As usual, no gender involved, it's a gender neutral. So a man and a woman will say the same thing, ah, you start with the ah, Alif Hamza, you will say, Ash Rabu, I Kono, Ash Rabu, I Kono. That's a singular and it's the same for man and a woman. Ash Rabu, I Kono. Uh, we, two of us or millions of us, is the same. You will say Na, you start with the Na. Nash Rabu, Nay Kono, Nash Rabu, Nay Kono. Here we go. This is your conjugation of a present tense using uh, one of the verbs that uh, has ya as its first root letter. What about imperative? Fe'al amr. Imperative uh, to give command. The command is uh, uh, in the i. Let's look at what's going to happen. So we have shari by ishrab ishrab. If you are commanding a single person. Male, you say ish rap. You have sukun on your uh, third root letter, and your alif of imperative is carrying kasra. Ish ra bo, because the second root is carrying fatha in the present tense. So ish rab. When you are speaking to a single female, 
with the same expression, the, the imperative, you will say Ish Rabi. So Ish Rab, the man, and Ish Rabi to the woman. So the, the Yakina verbs come. Now, let's see what's happened. You say Iqan. Now that year is now becomes lengthening year because essentially that's Sukun anyway. So you say Iqan. And then it's the same Sukun. Iqan. And Iqani. Ish Rabi. Iqani. Ish Rabi. Okay, when you are uh, um, commanding two people in front of you, male, you say Ish Raba. I Kona. Ish Raba. I Kona. It's the same thing for female. Two of them. You say Ish Raba. I Kona. Identical to the commanding for two uh, female, uh, masculine. If you are, however, speaking to uh, three or more um, masculine uh, men, you will say ish rabu, that's the u ending. Ish rabu i kanu. Ish rabu i kanu. Speaking to a group of uh, female uh, women, you will say ish rab, ish rab as sukun, ish rab na, ish rab na. I kan na the same ending you combine your noon because of the sukun there ish rab na i kan na here we are this is the conjugation of yeah uh, with yeah uh, uh, the verb uh, verb that's say with yeah as its first root letter done for you and been demonstrated that is identical to your a normal conjugation of regular verb. So please, uh, on page 14, try to uh, look at it and there are some verbs there which you can use to practice your conjugation of this type of verb. Next lesson, inshallah, we are going to do similar analysis uh, to the Al-Fi'lu Al-Mu'tal al the one starts with the wow and we'll see what's happening inshallah so in the meantime please do revise this for me and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and please do uh, try to make a donation to my uh, charity helping hands for education thank you so much for those of you who have reached out to make some donation thank you so much the link is below uh, we'll see you next lesson inshallah مع السلامة إلى اللقاء في أمان الله